guys, in the last video I have shown you how to compress a file using Java. We have written this uh, compress method. Now in this tutorial I will show you how to do, to do reverse or how to do decompression of the compressed file. So let's create a new Java class inside our file compression package. So new class and let's call this class decompression. and we will have a main method inside this class now let's import io package and zip package so import java.io and import java.util.zip okay now let's create a method for decompression so it will be public static void let's call it decompress and it will have two arguments or two parameters so the first argument will be uh, a source file that is a compressed file and the second argument is going to be a decompressed file so file source and file destination Okay, and this will, this method will throw IO exception. Okay, now let's create a buffer. So byte array, call it buffer. It is a new byte array with a length of 1024 bytes or 1 kilobyte. Let's create file input stream. So file input stream FIS. It is a new file input stream, and the argument of this file input stream or the parameter will be the source file. Okay. Now let's create file output stream. Or first, let's create our gzip input stream so this gzip input stream will uh, read a stream of bytes from the file input stream and decompress it and then we will use a file output stream to write these decompressed bytes to a file so gzip input stream let's call it gz is it is a new gzip input stream and the argument of the gzip input stream will be the file input stream okay now let's create file output stream file output stream fos it is a new file output stream and the argument of the file output stream will be destination file okay and now we need to declare the variable red so integer red that we want to use in the while loop while we are reading the bytes from a source file now let's create the while loop and we will read the bytes from the source file using gzip input stream and the number of bytes that has been read will be stored in this variable red so red is equal to gzis dot read and we will read those bytes to a buffer that we have created before now this read method returns the total number of bytes read into the buffer or minus one if there is no more data because the end of the stream has been reached so while the while this method returns something different than minus one it means that the, there were some bytes that were read and we can write those bytes to file output stream when it reaches when it gets the minus one the while loop will close itself so while 
read is not equal to minus 1 okay now let's write those bytes to the file output stream or to the destination file so fos dot write so we want to write bytes from the buffer with the offset of 0 and the length of red variable okay now let's close the gzip input stream let's close the file input stream and let's close the file output stream and that's it now let's create uh, two file objects so the first file object file let's call it source it is a new file and the path name of this file will be the compressed file that we have created in the last tutorial so as you can see it's, it is compressed to 1.58 megabytes and this is the location of this file let's copy this location and paste it here use the double slashes and add the name of this compressed file in this case it is compressed.txt okay now let's create another file so this other file still doesn't exist it will be a decompressed uh, file from this compressed.txt so destination it is a new file and let's copy this this part of the path and add something like decompressed.txt okay now let's use the decompress method but we need to use, to write it in our try catch block so try catch and we want to catch this io exception so catch io exception e and we want to print that exception if it occurs so system.out.print e and in the try block let's call the decompress method and place the source file and the destination file as arguments okay now let's save it and let's run it okay it's been done now let's see now we have this decompressed file we, as we can see there are it is size of 4.36 megabytes or 4 million five hundred and seventy four thousand nine hundred and four bytes okay now we can compare the original file and the decompressed file so the number of bytes is exactly the same okay let's open it and as you can see everything is there so this file is successfully decompressed so first we had this original file that we compressed to this compressed file then we decompressed this compressed file to a decompressed file so now this and this file are exactly the same there are no losses they are completely the same so this is how you decompress the file using java so thanks for watching guys and i hope you liked this tutorial and see you soon bye